As we all know, our job as programmers, as software developers, as software engineers, is literally to just copy and paste stuff. So the other day I was thinking how unfair it is that every job normally has its work tools, right? So blacksmiths, they have hammers, doctors have stethoscopes. But wh where is my work tool? We have keyboards, sure. But we only need Ctrl C and V or Common C and V. We don't need all that other confusing stuff we have on a keyboard. I have a keyboard and I find it intimidating, confuses me and makes me sad and it upsets me. So I thought, you know what? I'll take it upon myself to make a work tool for programmers. I'm gonna make a Ctrl C, Ctrl V keyboard. And since it's common knowledge that Old programmers are also gamers. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use one of those joystick thingies. Now I'm gonna make my work tool for myself and my fellow programmers everywhere. Hi, it's so hot. So what you're gonna need to make this project is basically Arduino Leonardo? Yep. This is the only Arduino that lets you control a keyboard. I got the original one. There's a bunch of copycats on the internet for a lower price. And that is because Arduino is a completely open source project, which is pretty cool and pretty neat. And I think we should support it. Open source is the future. We all know it. So you're gonna need the Arduino, Leonardo, and then you're gonna need a joystick module. Yeah, there it is. This is because we are pro gamers, as we stated before. That is gonna be the controller. And then you're gonna need a USB mini USB to USB cable to connect your Arduino Leonardo to your to your computer or macbook or whatever so let's get started i'm wearing my official arduino glasses these are definitely not the same glasses i wear every day and that i painted with a marker these are official glasses thank you very much so i only ever used arduino for really lame led light stuff so i'm learning stuff as we go first thing first we need to gather the material to make this project. I've already gathered some pretty, pretty epic resources, if I say so myself. Some articles from the official Arduino documentation. I'll link in the resources, or I'll link in the description all the resources I found. The Arduino has its own IDE, its own integrated development environment, and so we're gonna use that. So let, let's fire it up. First thing we need is we need is you you could you do here this article here how to use a joystick with zero monitor so so we, we're gonna have to uh, tell the Arduino to detect the user's change of, of the state of this thingy here joystick here uh, on X and Y and actually we're only gonna use one direction we're only gonna use the up and down on the Y. If you want, you can go farther and say up motion is copy, down motion is paste, then I don't know, one side motion is control Y, which is in some ideas it's delete a line or control X, and the other one might be control Z to undo. The sky's the limit, right? We're just gonna set all the variables, even though we're only gonna use this one. Just in case we wanna use them for another project, I'll put everything up here. VR X is at a zero, which means that VR X dent here is going to be connected to the A zero analog. So 
So then we need to say that the X position is actually the standard is camel case for Arduino uh, variables. It's gonna be zero. Y position, it's gonna be zero as well. This method here, setup gets called once and then the loop gets run repeatedly, it keeps on being executed while the Arduino is connected or is on, it's, you know, it's powered. Yeah, SV state is zero, sorry, hello, yep, int map x is zero, int map, so map y is zero, so then here, what we need to run once is zero that begin. It says so data rate in bits per second for serial data transmission. Serial monitor, okay, the serial monitor is kind of like a debugger in the Arduino ID. It's kind of like a terminal. Yeah, it's kind of like a terminal. Pin mode. Okay, the pin mode apparently configures a specified pin to behave either as an input or an output. This this thing we defined up here, uh, the in our case, the third and fourth and fifth dents here, these are inputs. That's what we're saying. We're telling the framework. Framework. So we're gonna say pin mode here. Your X is input this is just to set up the joystick and connect it to the arduino but so far we're doing stuff that you could do with any arduino not just an arduino leonardo the specific specificity of an arduino leonardo is that it lets you control a keyboard but we'll get to that in a second in the loop here so this is going to be run repeatedly so we're going to listen for the um, x position and tell it to analog read the value of vrx by the way i could be copy and pasting stuff uh, from from the documentation but the reason i'm not doing it is because if you if you, if you actually take the time to type stuff not only you get to understand most because you like you're writing so you want to understand what you're writing but also the stuff you're writing gets ingrained in your brain more than if you just read it type stuff it will be an investment now the map method so here it is so the first thing is the first parameter is value then we have from low from high to low to high for this we're gonna have to say that map x is equal to map x position okay zero okay we're, I'm, I'm just gonna copy and paste this it's just it's numbers so I'm allowed thank you very much Okay, and then here, serial.print is to, it's kind of like console.log or system.print. System.out.print line. I know Java. <laughs> serial.print is to print stuff in the, in the console. So, and then we have a delay 400. So, so far so good. If we connect the Arduino, this should run. First, we need to verify. And then to inject the, this is the firm, firmware that we're gonna inject to the Arduino. First, let me connect the thingies that I already connected, but I'm gonna connect them again because I'm a dum a dum a dum dum.
now if we open the here the tools serial monitor you can see that it's detecting the, pos the position see so this is the x and this is the y amazing this is fun and all but it doesn't really do anything what we need to do is here in the loop method tell it to serve as a keyboard input i'm gonna head over to keyboard and mouse control here you need to include this dependency at the top and then in order to write we need to keyboard keyboard that write switch statement and this is gonna check map y so case minus 512 what we're gonna do is keyboard dot write and we're gonna write c break case positive i would actually say in this case it's really simple so instead of saying case minus 512 i would just say case map y is greater than zero or smaller than zero then it would, it would work the same but uh, just for the sake of a future perspective where we might want to implement this um, i think this is a good way to to go in case it is positive it is 512 we're gonna keyboard that right and we're gonna say v and break that's Compile it, load it, and now if we head over to serial monitor, if we go up, sorry, yeah, if we go up, you see, it's writing C, and if we go down, it's writing B. Amazing, right? It's pretty exciting, isn't it? I think Arduino is such a cool thing. It's amazing, I love it so much. So, but this is not what we want to do, right? We don't want to write cmv we want to copy and paste here there's a whole uh, page in the documentation about keyboard modifiers here in the keyboard app press an example code control key you see this option for o os x so if you're on a mac we're gonna need this one otherwise if you're using windows or linux you're gonna have to use this variable anyway here we're gonna say chair so we need this one left i'm gonna i'm gonna keep this one as well in the code and yeah include this comment as well future reference so now keyboard at press and then delay and really solve instead of this we're gonna keyboard that press uh, we're gonna press ctrl key and keyboard that press and we're gonna say c and then delay by 100 keyboard release all and the same goes for here so we're gonna press oh my god what did i write why wait why, why am i like this C T R L. really so all of keys otherwise it's like we keep our finger pushed on the on the key <laughs> we do not want to okay let's try compile and sketch upload yes now serial monitor serial monitor here it is we're gonna copy this this line here so select the li this line and up and then head over here let's see paste and it works there you go that's so cool isn't it it's done it's working it's the magic of arduino